Good afternoon reception. It's time for your number job which we do on an afternoon after our dinner in school. So we're going to do that together but remember what do I always say before we can do a number job? We've got to put the numbers into our brain and to warm our brains up. Okay so we've got the number line behind me to help us count and look at the numbers at the same time. Okay let's go. Oh, hang on a minute. Is there something the matter with my number line? When we count, do we start from one? No, we don't. What was that number that we were talking about yesterday? Zero, that's right. Zero to find my hero. What we need to start on and my number line it's missing it oh it's a bit sneaky so we'll be better than the number line and we'll add in zero and count all the way up to 20 are you ready let's see if you can shout it really really loud are you ready zero one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Excellent, well done. Right, I'm going to trick you with one more and one less. Yes, I am, I'm going to trick you. Oh, yes, I am, I am going to trick you. Right, let's see if I can anyway. Right, if I put my pointing stick on to number five, what is one more than five? One more than five. If you had five sweets and you were given one more, how many will you have? Six, well done, six. Oh, well that one didn't trick you. What about? 11. What's one more than 11? Oh, I can hear you shouting 12. Oh, that's brilliant. Well done. But Mrs. Reed hasn't been able to trick you this time. Right. What is one more than 16? One more than 16? Oh, yes, you're right. 17. Well done. Right. Now then, let's try one less. So if I had four sweets and I took one away, I ate one, what's one less than four? Three, well done, one less than four is three. Oh, I'm struggling to trick you. Right, come on Mrs. Reed. What about what is one less than 13? One less than 13? 12, that's right, the number that comes before 13 is 12. Okay, I'm going to ask you in a different way then. What is the number that comes in between 8 and 10? What number is between 8 and 10? So what's in the middle of 8 and 10? So there is 8, there we have 10. What's in between? Number nine, that's right. Oh, right. I'll try one more of those. What number is in between, what's between three and five? What number is between three and five? So have a look on the number line. What number can you see between in the middle of? That's right, well done, super. Okay, now then, we have been looking at shapes as well this week. Our 2D shapes, 2D shapes are our flat shapes, okay? Can you remember any of those shape names before I shout them out? So we had four shape names. Can you give me one? Right, so we've got a triangle well done we had this shape as a triangle 
And we had, what's the name of this shape? R -r 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 rectangle, good. We all know this one, I'm sure. It's a circle. Circle is a funny word when it's written down because we hear s for circle, but it actually starts with a curly cut when we write it, but we don't say kirkle. <laughs> no, not kirkle. It's circle, but when we write it, it starts with a curly cut. And what's the name of this shape? A a square, well done, this is a square. So we've got four shapes and I've got those shapes on posters like this. So we have the rectangle, we have the triangle, we have the circle and we have the square. So there are four shapes. What game can we play when we have four different things? I know, let's have a game of shape corners okay so what i'm challenging you to do is to help you practice the names of these shapes go and get four pieces of paper can you draw a rectangle on one color it in draw a triangle on another color it in draw a circle on another one color it in and then draw your square and color it in and then pop it in a corner, each corner of your room, okay? And then I'm going to be the caller and I'm going to call out some of the names of the shapes and you've got to run to those shapes. Do you think you can do that? Okay, do you want to pause the video before we start and you can set that up with your adult. You ready? Okay, have you done that? Are you ready? Right, are you ready? Here we go, I'm going to go with Quick run to square, run to the square. Ready, run, 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 run to the square. Well done, excellent. Right then, this time come back into the middle of the room and run to the rectangle. Rectangle, which one is the rectangle? Off you go. Well done. Right, come back into the middle of the room. Right. Can you run to the circle? Run to the circle. Quick, quick, quick. Well done. And come on back into the middle of the room. And then can you run to the triangle? Run to the triangle. Off you go, run to the triangle. Excellent, okay. This time I'm going to make it a little bit trickier. So I'm not going to say its name. You have to work out which shape I am thinking of by listening to my clues. Are you ready? So, I'm thinking of a shape, so I'm popping the shape into my brain, I'm thinking of one. My shape has three sides. Which of your shapes has three sides? Can you run to the shape where you can count three sides? Off you go. Well done, excellent, you remembered sides from yesterday. Okay, this time, listening carefully, can you run to the shape that has one curved side? One curved side, off you go. Well done, excellent, come on back to the middle of the room. Right, this time, can you run to the shape that has, so listen carefully, this one is tricky. It has two short sides and two long sides, but all together it has four sides. But two are long and two are short. Remember, two and two makes four. Off you go. Excellent, well done. Come on back to the middle of the room. Right, now this time, last one, can you run to the shape that has four sides and they're all the same length, off you go. Excellent, come on back to the middle of the room. Okay, yesterday and today, we've just done it, we've been thinking about sides. 
of shapes but we also have something else to think about when we look at shapes and that's this part of the shape remember these are called corners corners so how many corners would you count for the square it's the pointy bits well done there's four corners just like there is four sides on this shape do we have any corners on the circle no and that's what makes this shape really special because it means that it can roll okay how many corners on the what's the name of this shape a rectangle well done i was just checking a rectangle how many corners four excellent well done and the square how many corners does the square have no this is not a square oh sorry oops i meant a triangle triangle how many corners does the triangle have three well done excellent okay now then now we've looked at how many for each shape let's use that to help us practicing to form our numbers so what i'd like you to have now is your maths book with the squares inside to help you practice and remember we put one number in each box because you can't put more than one number in one box together no what happens if we do that they fight the numbers fight when you close the book okay so remember one number per square okay mrs reed hasn't got any squares on her board but you have in your book okay so let's start with the name of one of the shapes so we'll go with the rectangle how many sides did it have four that's right how many corners four so let's practice together writing the number four for a square you might sorry for i was trying to trick you there what's this one called a rectangle that's right you might even have a little go at trying to write rec rectangle see what sounds you can hear in rectangle rectangle we've got rec so you write it before i do pause the video have a little try now i'm going to show you rectangle oh i'm using my capital r rectangle rec 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 tangle tangle angle ang ang oh now that's all we can hear rectangle but it has a silent letter f on the end rectangle so the rectangle remember has four sides and four corners so we're going to show that we're going to write that number ready so we go down and across and down once more now you've made the number four okay it's important that you follow the rhyme down and across and down once more now you've made the number four do you think you can do that eight times can you do that eight times in your book well done when you're finished if you need to pause the video to do that you can press play again and we'll move on to the next one Okay, going to use this time the triangle. What's the name of this shape? Triangle. Well done. How many sides does the triangle have? One, two, three. Are you happy with three? Yep, yeah, three sides. So we've got t -t triangle. So what sound do you hear? A triangle. T -t 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 -t. Well done. I'm going to use my capital, the name of that sound, T. T, 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 t try, t, r, I, try, ang, ang. Oh, and just like rectangle, there's a silent letter F on the end that we need to put on that we can't hear. Triangle. How many sides? Three. So we're going to go around the tree, around the tree. Now you've made the number well done can you do that 10 times can you write three ten times you can't no no you can't 
Go on then, you try. Ten times for number three. Right. And the last one we've got for our shapes because if we did square, we'll be writing the number four again, won't we? Because that's the same as the rectangle. But we'll use the circle to help us with a number. How many sides? One. Just one, but it's a curved side. One curved side. So remember, circle, it sounds like s, but it's actually a c, a curly k. You think we would say kirkle, but we don't. Cur circle. I nearly said it there. Circle. Okay. So we're going to write number one. When we do number one, it's really important we don't go from the bottom up to the top. We don't do that. We say straight line down for number one. Straight line down. Straight line down. Straight line down. Straight line down. Do you think you could try that five times? Okay. Right. Now before I go, let's see if in your book you can find the numbers that are missing. What numbers haven't we practiced today? Can you find those? Can you work those numbers out? And can you practice forming those numbers using your number rhymes? Okay, and for each number, let's do it 10 times in your book. Okay, remember to use the rhyme and follow the rhyme to help you form the numbers properly. Okay. Well done for today. I've really enjoyed working with you on 2D shapes. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you again for another lesson soon. Bye from Mrs Reid for now.